Okay, in the Natsu no Taizai chapter 179 and 180. So, I'm sorry about last week's chapter, missing it. There's a lot going on, and I'll explain that in another video I'm about to do. But for this chapter, for this, these two chapters, let me just focus on them. First, Arthur has gotten stronger. And I kind of don't really care, but I kind of do. So, he's able to take down a gray demon, which, as we remember, was the same class of demon on the same level that Hendrickson was back when he took out most of the Holy Army, him, and most of the Seven Deadly Sins. It took re using reverse counter in order to stop him. And that even that didn't kill him. But Arthur is able to take it out by himself. Not without struggle, but still by himself. Impressive. Very impressive. Also, the cat thing. We still have no idea what it is. I'm seeing it as a familiar. I figure he's gonna go He-Man like, By the power of Grayskull! But instead it's gonna be, By the power of Merlin's thong! I have the power! And then lightning's gonna hit him and the cat is gonna turn into... Cringer. <laughs> I, I don't know. Uh, who knows what will happen. But moving on from that. Elizabeth is keeping Borhat alive. It's still traveling, picking up soldiers and shit. And we meet this dude who was a member of Weird Fang, this group we met. I honestly don't care. I figured there's some level of importance involving him, but he's not a Ten Commandment. He's not a Seven Lady Slins. I, 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 I don't care. That's, that's honestly how it is. If you're not a Seven Lady Slins, you're not a Ten Commandment, or you're not powerful in any way, I, 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 don't, I don't care. Like, to hell with you. Moving on from him, Meliodas' body is still being treasured by Elizabeth. Now, he's dead. He's dead dead. All hearts stabbed dead. His body hasn't decayed. I don't know whether this is a thing with the demons, but the nigga's body has not decayed. That's weird. Also, I don't know what what's up with this, but does his body look sort of healed to you? Doing something! Does his body look healed to you? Like, that's strange to me. It's, it's, dead bodies don't heal. Or am I crazy? I might just be crazy. So hell with it. The final and most important thing. Zartros is alive. I knew. I knew he was alive. I remember Luffy the Dragon Slayer bringing this up. And it instantly sparked this back in my mind. When Maricilla brought back to life Elaine. I'm doing stuff. I'm doing something. No! Can I get some peace? My god. Ah, oh, my god. Anyway, Zaratros is still alive. Where has he been? Why hasn't he showed up? Why didn't he show up when the Ten Commandments were whooping ass? Why didn't he show up when Meliodas was getting killed? Why didn't he show up when Maricilla... Created a zombie army. Why? Why did he show up when Hendrickson was going wild? Why? So many questions. So many questions. I'm like, so. I have so many questions. Like, it's it's madness. I demand answers. Hopefully we get them in the next chapter. It feels like we're going towards a flashback. Because we have to know what happened to him. Why he's alive? Cause we saw his body. His body was was was, was Joel. That's how bad his body was. Just Joel, insane. So that's all I really have to say. Share this video with your friends. Like, rate, subscribe. I will see y'all for the next. Hopefully.